And oh, uh, what is she wearing? The footage has gotten increasingly more shocking. There's Paris allegedly smoking pot, Paris getting traffic tickets, and Paris driving like a maniac. It's not like she's backing her Ford Escort into a pickup truck. She's backing her Bentley and her Range Rover and her Mercedes and these incredibly extravagant vehicles. <laughs> Even when she isn't behind the wheel, trouble finds Paris. One night when Paris Hilton was leaving the L.A. club Element, she was walking outside with her then-boyfriend, Stavros Niarcos. He didn't want to be photographed by the paparazzi, and so he decided, oh, a smart idea would be to put my sweatshirt over my head, which does make sense to an extent, except when you're driving. You can't drive like that. He's a Shocking. He smashed the Bentley into a parked truck. What's up? The police seem to do nothing, and Paris waved to them saying, I love the police, I love the police. Thank you. Paris encountered LA's finest again in September 2006 with a very public drunk driving arrest. Paris Hilton gets a DUI, and TMZ treats it like Middle East peace. I was there the night that Paris got arrested, and it was unfortunate that she drank right before she got in her car. Paris's PR guru, Elliot Mintz, has been working overtime, running major damage control. She um, had one drink. She said, you know, I didn't eat all day. I had one margarita. She ended up having a 0.08 blood alcohol level, which is the lowest legal limit for being considered drunk in California. So she was arrested, she was handcuffed, taken to the station. The officers did what they had to do in a situation like that. They took her to the station. Can you tell me why you went to jail tonight? No, it was nothing. I was just speeding. Every time we turn around, Paris is getting into something. And it's just become like an I Love Lucy episode on TMZ. The next month, Paris moved from DUI to bar brawling, throwing down with actress Shanna Mochler, ex-wife of Paris hookup Travis Barker. Paris, are you okay? Paris, you file charges. Paris says that Shanna punched her in the face, whereas Shanna says that Paris's ex, Stavros Niarcos, actually grabbed her hands, pushed her wrists back, and pushed her. What happened? Nothing happened. Everything's great. Once again, Paris's man, Mr. Mintz, was there to help clean up the mess. She identified the person who uh, physically assaulted her uh, in an unprovoked manner. Days later, photos surfaced that showed Paris with what appeared to be marijuana in her purse. Paris, you smoking weed when you got here? Elliot Mintz denied that the bag contained marijuana. Once you saw those pictures, it was very hard to imagine that it could have been anything else. 